Hello and welcome. So now we're back again. This is the Witcher Wild Hunt, the latest update with 4.02. So that means all of the ray tracing goodness has been added in. And I've uh, got all of the updates here installed. So let's take a look at the settings and see how I've got all of the ray tracing stuff cranked. And that is the promise of the 4000 series and also the 3000 series. So let's see what ray tracing does for us. I've got ray tracing turned on, set to, excuse me, quality. All of the ray trace reflections, shadows are on, ambient inclusion is on, and everything else should be on or high. And yeah, so this is just automatic. Automatic. If we set ray tracing ultra, this should crank these up as well. There we are. All right, so now we're running in ultra mode, and let's see where the gameplay sits here. So I restarted this game for the umpteenth time. Bear with me as I jump into the actual gameplay here. I enjoy these the first time, the second time. I'm pretty sick of these narrated sections now. <laughs> it's like reading a comic book, but hey, let me just jump into the gameplay, please, for the umpteenth time. All right. Whoops, a little jittery there. Need to adjust my mouse sensitivity. All right, but as you can see here, ooh, it is taking its toll. So with Art Ray Tracing Ultra preset and everything cranked and set to quality mode, I'm hovering in the low 20s and it is very choppy. Not a good gameplay experience, my friends. I would not want to be playing this game like this. As it is, as you pan around, there is so much foliage and so much movement on the screen that it starts to become a little dizzying. That was my initial experience with this game as well and I thought maybe I was just crazy until I asked a few friends and they were like, yeah, the, the emotion is so... Uh, so high there's a high rate of motion as you move around because there's so many trees foliage clouds birds everything moving that it becomes a little bit jarring after a while so let's see if we can turn the rt settings down a little bit and get a more playable frame rate video and by the way so in the latest update they now split graphics and display display handles all of the stuff related to your display settings i've got unlimited frames checked here so no actually limiting on the display Running in borderless window mode, V-Sync on and at 1600. Uh, so let's turn off V-Sync. Well, it's 50, 2560 by 1600, the QHD plus native re refresh rate of this display. Resolution of display, rather. And if we jump back into graphics, we were on RT Ultra. Let's bump it down a little bit. We'll go down to RT. So that puts things into performance mode and turns off some of the extra uh, extras that really, you know, hunt down the, the GPU power there. So and then... All of these settings here should be set to ultra still. No change there. Let's jump in and see how it behaves. All right, here we are. Still looking at around 29 FPS. Why is that so? All right, a little bit of... Uh, that was Igni, yes. I've forgotten my signs. Okay, so it looks visually stunning. The gameplay, however, is very jittery at 29 FPS. Let's jump back in and adjust. So we'll go back into video, graphics. All right, so we're going to have to turn ray tracing off here, it looks like. I'm not very pleased with this performance on the 4070. We'll leave everything else to ultra. So let's just set the ultra preset here. Make sure we capture everything. Yep, that ought to do it. Okay, now let's see what this GPU can handle without... Oh my goodness, what a world of difference. Immediately more playable. I can notice the smoothness in the image and the tracking as I move my mouse. Yes, this will not give me a headache. I've always found like a very jittery, jittery kind of image rotation. And maybe it's the mouse sensitivity that I have. Let me try to adjust that. Let me slow it really down. Yeah, but that's been always an annoyance to me in this game. The way that that motion kicks in, it's it's almost sickening and makes me feel a little ill. Let me know if you've had the same experience in the comments below. And it's only been particularly this game with the Witcher series. I don't feel that in Cyberpunk 2077 uh, or any of the other games that I've played for that matter. Doom, for example, which runs at a very high refresh rate, 150, 160 frames per second and so on on my old desktop. Uh, I never had that experience. I could play that game for hours on end and, and not get tired. This with the panning really makes me tired for some reason. It, it tires out my eyes. So we can see that on ultra settings with ray tracing off, we're hovering at around 50 FPS with the occasional dip down below um, and the also rise, occasional rise to the high 50s. So 
it's a good showing for the 4070, but I would not say a fantastic showing. I expected a lot more from this generation. But then again, not having a 30 series GPU, laptop GPU to compare against, I am just ball ballparking here based on my own estimations. So excuse the non qualitative or quantitative and exact nature of my observations. All right, I think that about wraps it up for this gameplay. So let's do a little bit more Igni and we are out of here. All right, see you guys in the next one.